Here is a Navian 240E combi boiler showing the error code and it's an E352 and what the 352 means is it's getting a high pressure reading from the water pressure center. I'll, I'll show you working. What it means is <clears throat> um, on the heating system I have a uh, two zone controlled by this Tayco and when it calls uh, for heat, it heats up until we get a high temperature. I'll show you it actually working. So um, what I've got to do is uh, shut the incoming water. Uh, here we go. So this is the heating's call for, it's uh, zone two. We've got 51, 52, and as it heats up, the pressure's growing, 54, 55. Well, this is the wrong pressure because the water pressure sensor's failed. And it's 55.6 as recorded by the error. So it's throwing some heat into the water. 55.5. So we're getting a bit of heat, we're getting a bit of hot water. 56 and then it throws the 352 so it runs for a bit and then throws the error code and I believe it's this guy is the problem so it'll, it'll then it'll go back and it'll reset and so we're getting a bit of heat into the system it's about a 7 Fahrenheit outside so it's uh, uh, it's, it's having an effect and it also affects hot water so you try and take a shower because it's a combi boiler, heating and hot water. So that's a, a neat um, example of it actually, of the error. And um, I'm just going to document this. There's a guy called Elvis who does a pretty good video on this. Um, but I'm just going to do a bit more on A, how to drain the system and then refill it, hopefully, um, and fix it. So um, keep your ears pinned back and I'll. Uh, I'll show you what happens. I'm getting ready to drain the uh, Navian is that CHP 240E or something. Uh, I've turned off the two zones. I've closed off all of the input waters. I'm not sure what matters, but here's an input. There's an input. Cold, hot. And, and these are the two off the manifold. So it should be ready to go. This guy is the drain plug, and uh, I'm going to try and do it with a uh, a mug. It's, it's no great space, um, but I'll let you know how that goes. And then as soon as that's done, I should be able to unscrew and then replace the water pressure sensor. Uh, so that's where I'm up to next. Well, the drain thing was a bit of a bust because not much came out. Here is the new valve, oh, this water pressure sensor. Here's the old one in place. I guess I have to remove this sort of, uh, this thing here. Uh, and then I should be able to unscrew it. I don't think it's overly uh, complicated. Um, but anyway, I'll take that off. I've got everything disconnected and we'll update you then. Ah, well, negativo on that. Seems this whole thing unscrews. So it's a different configuration from the replacement. Uh, so because there's a bunch of water in the system and it hasn't drained and I've got a load of electronics here, um, I'm going to try and uh, manage this in case there's a big flood of water because there's a lot of wires. Anyway, um, I will let you know what happened. 30 seconds later, well, uh, actually no water. But you can kind of see there is some rust build up in here. And that's probably because it's a well and I hadn't installed my hydrogen peroxide iron manganese oxidation system. There's another video on that one, which is a hydrogen peroxide. So I think that's what it's kind of gummed it up. Uh, here's the new one. There's the old one. 
Um, I just replace it so so far no water's come out. So I'm going to put this one back in and see what happens. Well, the new sensor's in. Uh, I just uh, tiny it up with a, a wrench. Uh, this is a whole unit, so it's, I thought this was a, a shroud on it, but it's not. So I used a wrench across these faces, and then a wrench across these faces, just to snug it down. I've turned on all the water, hot and cold, for the, this is the, the underfloor heating. And this is the hot and cold for the uh, house hot water system. And here is the fill system. So I've turned that all on. I heard a bit of a thud as water went in. Uh, and my next step is to plug everything back in and start it up and see what happens. I haven't purged the water. So we'll just see what happens. I think it's got some sort of auto purging. Well, I'll find out in a second, let you know what happens. Well, I connected it up. It was kind of quiet. So I used the purge valve here just to shoot some water into the system. And you may be, you may be able to hear it's, it's sort of doing an auto purge, I think. So I can hear water draining out. So I think it's trying to get rid of uh, pressure here. It's got a So I'll look it up. I'll just leave it to do its thing. Uh, zone 2 is calling for heat. Um, so I'll see if it sorts itself out. If it doesn't, um, I guess I have to read the manual. But you can hear it's purging, purging water. So we'll see what happens. So there are two systems. I'm going to turn the hot water on and see if that uh, is a difference. Because this is the... Uh, the heating part. So I'll turn the water on and see what happens. The temperature is gradually increasing. It's saying it's got air in the system. I think it's trying to purge. Uh, I've got both the heating and the hot water system. It's calling for both. Um, so I think I'll just let it see if it sort itself out. Um, I've got the... if the heating needs water I can fill it um, without the uh, using the air eliminator here. But I think I'll just let it uh, do its thing for a bit and see if it uh, works. As you can hear, it's going now. And I had the air purge. Notice it sort of says air here. And I tried um, using the purge up here. I think that's for the heating system. But it would not purge, it was trying to purge itself. So, did a bit of YouTubing. And here's the, this is the out. So this is the hot water in, the hot water out, and there's a purge valve here. So I put that down to the bucket. Turn this on and it had a bit of air that choked out of it. And right now, This is working. Now, I've disconnected my heating system. So I just want to try and sort one thing out at a time. So this thing is doing its, uh, doing its thing. It's got the thing on, the whole water thing on. If you've got a Navy and you're familiar with these sounds. So I'm going to turn the hot water off. I'm going to check it's working. I think it is. Yep. It's working, uh, and I'm going to turn that off and then turn the heating on, see if that fixed the problem. Okay, all back and working. I had to monkey around a bit. I uh, first purged the water using this thing. Uh, but then I, it, the heating wasn't coming on, so I bled the heating. Actually, it was these wires that come loose, these, these two here, which are the call for heat. Uh, and in the end, I, I couldn't get the air things to come off, so I just let the thing do its own purge and it worked. So, I would say the biggest problem with this is purging the air, and it's always been a pain. Uh, but, but the air is purged. Uh, the PSI is um, 
running at 22.4. So it's a five minute job changing this, monkeying around with purging the air is another job. But it's all up and running and uh, no plumber call out. Okay, hope this helps. Bye.